Protect your privacy online with the number one rated VPN on the market, ExpressVPN, and get three months free when using my referral link. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Kyoprico Heist Mastery Guide. In today's episode, we will be finishing up the points of interest spawn locations, including the grappling hook, the bolt cutter, and the cutting powder locations, and giving my recommendations for if you should scope them out or not. So let's start out with what I think is the most useful one out of those three, the grappling hook. There are 16 grappling hook spawn locations, more so compacted in the northern parts of the map, which is good, and there's a good chance that you'll find at least one near the airstrip where you spawn in. And the reason why the grappling hook can be nice is because you won't have to worry about grabbing the chuck or the keypad codes from one of the guards, which can save you some time. But now I'm going to show you guys the individual locations of where the grappling hook can spawn in, and just in case you're wondering later on, I used single player mods in order to free room Kyoprico to get the footage in this video. And in the gameplay, I shoot my AP pistol and throw sticky bombs at the location where the prop would appear in the actual game. But anyways, I'm going to be quiet now. Here are the spawns for the grappling hook.
Up next, we have the bolt cutters. These are evenly distributed around the map, eight up north and eight down south. Again, there's a total of 16. And I gotta be honest, there really isn't a point to scoping these out, but I'm here to simply give you guys the information that is needed to know. And the only reason I would maybe suggest using these is if for some reason you don't have the drainage tunnel scoped out, because then you wouldn't have the cutting torch mission unlocked, which is the thing you'd use to unlock the gates the other way. I suppose it is a little bit quieter of a way to open the gates to get the secondary targets. Sometimes it seems like the guards can hear you using the cutting torch, but that honestly could just be the game bugging out more than anything. The way I see it, don't go out of your way to scope these out, but if you happen to be nearby a spawn location naturally, just on your scope out path, you can always try to get them. And with that being said, here are the 16 individual spawn locations for the bolt cutters.
And last but not least, we have the cutting powder. There's three spawns for the cutting powder that are denoted by the skulls outlined in purple on this map. The first one is located in the fields area. It's actually right next to a grappling hook spawn location in this corner here. You'll easily see it because it glows very bright. The second spawn is in the middle of the map across from one of the main dock secondary target spawns. And this one is also very close to another point of interest, the bolt cutter spawn in this exact same area. And the third and final spawn is near the green half cylinder building, literally right next to one of the guard outfit spawns. So all three of the cutting powder spawns are right next to other points of interest, which just makes your job easier, really. The third location would be the most ideal one, though, because it's right next to the water tower, which is the next step. You just have to take the ladder up to the top of the water tower, either at the main or north dock, it doesn't matter which one, and then pour it inside here like I'm doing, and that's all there is to it. Now if you're doing the heist in full stealth and you don't plan on getting detected, there's kind of no point to doing this because essentially what the cutting powder does is make their aim worse. Some people say it makes their reaction time worse, which would increase their detection time, but I honestly haven't noticed any difference in that. So even if there is a difference, it's probably not worth taking the extra time on the scope of mission to do this. With that being said though, if you're doing an aggressive approach, this can definitely help out. For me personally though, I almost always do the heist in full stealth without alerting anyone, so I think it's pointless. But that is going to do it for this episode of the Kaiaprico Heist Master Guide. In the next part, I'm going to walk you guys through my thought process and strategy on the scope I mission in order to complete it in the most efficient and least annoying way possible. I have a few tips that I've learned to share with you guys. I can't wait to do that. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. Huge thank you to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh hey, you haven't clicked off the video yet. Well here, have some cutting powder. Bye now.